the young folks this is what you're viewing. It's time for us to see what's doing. Libra, she's turning on. Nine at nine is really groovy. Feeling groovy. All right, number nine. It looks like a big roll of clear tape, the kind you'd find at your local hardware store. But if you were at Paris Fashion Week, you'd know this is an accessory. See, it's a bracelet. Part of Balenciaga's Fall Winter 2024 collection. It even has the Balenciaga logo on it, see? Oh, so it yeah. makes it nice. The collection itself was a bit tongue-in-cheek, as it always is. Right, Paul? Yes, I mean, I don't want to step right. on your... Yeah. It's like you say, no one loves whimsy more than old Balenciaga. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Some models wore dust bags as mm. tops. Others were wrapped in clear tape. As for the tape bracelet, not sure of the price, but I bet Larry has an option that you can sell them for oh. much cheaper. I'll get you a roll for $9.99. Look at are. that. Models are known for their great sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah true. <laughs> Uh, number eight, at this point, Robin, the evidence is too great to ignore. There are legitimate benefits to walking barefoot. Don't take it from me. Listen to wellandgood.com. First, they say it improves your posture and balance yeah, because yeah. it strengthens foot muscles. Second, as noted in a study in the periodical called Gait and Posture, stronger feet are really important as you get into your senior years to avoid falls. And third, there's grounding or earthing, which is uh, this idea that our bodies are connected with the earth, and that's not just junk science. Uh, actually, I think it is junk science. <laughs> Touching the earth increases cortisol, which helps with inflammation of the... Okay, I, I, yeah, I don't think so. But anyway, barefoot, it's mm. good for you. Yeah, not happening for me. <laughs> All right, number seven, check this place out. Johnny Cash and his wife, June Carter Cash, built this rustic mansion in Hendersonville, Tennessee for their son, Johnny Carter Cash. It's known as Dogwood Estate, and it's about half an hour outside of Nashville in Hendersonville. It's a 20-acre property with 30-foot cathedral ceilings. Uh, the primary bedroom has a working fireplace, and there's lots of beautiful outdoor sitting areas. Here's the best part. The asking price is only $6.25 million. Wow. Argan. Mm. Okie doke. All right, number six. Uh, here is a clip from China of a guy making popcorn in a very old-fashioned way. Street vendors used to use this method, and people who grew up there say it came out fluffy and perfect. It does not in this video, but it's still kind of cool. Alright,放上我们那个秘制小鲜丹。盖上锅盖。新鸟子挂上。锁锅扳手带紧。拿出火炉支架。上火。开始摇锅。that seems like a lot of work. Huh? Yeah, don't they have microwaves out there? Oh, look at that. Oh, Whoa! What? Come on. Wow. This is no Orville Redenbach. Are you talking. kidding me? Right. I wish you could understand what he was saying. Look at that. How is that? What are the physics behind this, Larry? Oh. Oh, that, oh. Uh, not, they're not good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work out too well, but that was yeah. fun. as a interesting. Entertaining. Yeah, in Shanghai, this was invented by vendors who, okay, didn't have portable microwaves. Uh, or there you I go. see. There you go. You got yeah. the next story coming up. Ah, all we'll right. We're on to the next story. Number five, do you think you should be... Uh, do you think you should care? Charged. Do you think you should be charged oh, if your doctor answers a question <laughs> you ask by email? Thank you, Pat. <laughs> More healthcare groups are charging fees, usually 35 bucks, to answer questions patients oh. ask in the office portal or other email. Some doctor's groups say it's fair. They're spending time reading and giving a thoughtful and scientific answer. And some point out that it's easier for the patient than having to go to the office. Some doctors say patients actually like this setup. They're hmm. perfectly willing to pay a few bucks to get a simple question answered quickly. Yeah, it seems fair, yeah. I guess. 
All right, number four. Here's a clip of a bunch of puppies who have oh, to get through a maze to get some Here food. We go. Which puppy is the smartest? Mm. Who let the dogs out? Who's the hungriest? Oh, hey, this one. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Uh, number three, here's a phone hack we found from the 1950s. It's from the book Gadgets Galore by old Dorsey Connor, written in 1953 for the busy housewife. If you're waiting for a phone call and don't want to stop doing your chores, put the phone on the ground in a dishpan. If the phone rings, the dishpan will amplify the sound oh, so you can idea. hear it ringing even if you're in the basement doing laundry or in another room vacuuming. Yeah. Uh, back in the 1950s, only 60% of U.S. households wow. even had a telephone. Huh. But no matter what you do, you'll be wearing heels and a skirt and yes. a nice set of yeah. pearls because you want to look your best when your husband comes home for dinner. Make sure his Manhattan is cold and his <laughs> dinner is hot. <laughs> uh, Good old days. Yeah. All right, number two. Here's a throwback a Tuesday clip from the Gong Show. A disco dancer named Michael Mucci. Welcome <laughs> to semi drilling, Michael <laughs> Red. Quiet, <laughs> Michael Nucci. Wow. Wow. to do something else. Well, there's only so many moves. Oh. was good stuff. The Gong Show was on NBC from 76 to 78. Only 10% of applicants actually made it onto the show. Wow. Weird, Weird Al Yankovic uh, auditioned for the show and he did not make wow. it. Wow. So let that be a lesson mm. to all of you. Yeah. Uh, number one, another good one from the YouTube page of Bill McClintock. It's full of uh, these really cool mashups of songs you would never think could go together. This is Judas Priest, Another Thing Coming, and Michael Jackson's Billy Jean or Billy Jean's got another thing coming. <laughs> Nine and nine. Feeling groovy. This guy also <laughs> liberating. Yeah.